happy. And again, thank you for joining the ACA Small Business Bootcamp. We have a great presentation today and we have a lot of registered attendees. So we're gonna wait another minute or so to, so everybody can get loaded into the Zoom app. Um, so please hang tight and we'll get started shortly. Thank you. All righty. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Robert Theobald. I'm a small business ombudsman and vice president of small business services for the Arizona Commerce Authority. I want to welcome you all to this uh, Friday session of the S Small Business Boot Camp and Resource Collective. We've got a great uh, presentation today uh, with eBay. We're excited to have them on board. First, I want to start by thanking all of our community partners. Uh, these boot camps would not be possible without them. Um, their time and their effort to help provide content and resources for small businesses has been invaluable and we, we are very grateful for their help. Uh, the Small Business Boot Camp is a program that's designed to help small businesses return stronger from the COVID crisis. It's a statewide initiative supported by all those community partners and it's a daily boot camp that we are going to continue on through July. Um, we have great uh, content prepared and there, that will also provide additional resources in our resource collective. So uh, we're excited to continue on with that. So you can find the information uh, for the boot camp on our website, azcommerce.com, small business boot camp. It's Monday through Friday. Uh, we have information on PPP loans, loan forgiveness, uh, guidance for marketing safety, et cetera. Um, all our previous sessions are recorded, so you can go back and look at those from week one through week eight, and even week nine that we're in right now. Um, and then whenever we get additional content from our uh, community partners, we add it to our resource collective, um, which has a bunch of resources that uh, are useful for your businesses. Uh, so next week's topics, we've got a uh, business mapping tool for entrepreneurs. Uh, it's gonna be a great session. Uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, small businesses, if you're looking for that Simplified business plan or game plan for coming out of the crisis, definitely tune in on, on Monday uh, for that session. On uh, Tuesday, we've got leading resilient teams virtually. Um, Wednesday, we've got uh, a great session with small business success stories. So one of the best ways we found that people learn is through the successes of others and the, the, the best practices. And so we've got some small businesses coming on that have been successful uh, during this time. And, and some of the stories uh, are unique, um, but the takeaways are gonna be great for everyone. So we encourage everybody to attend that. Thursday will be a COVID-19 tax relief. Uh, we've got the IRS representative coming on to share some tax relief information that uh, benefits small businesses. And then there's no session on Friday. Uh, it's the observed day for Independence Day, um, which is Saturday, July 4th. So um, we're excited about next week's topics. Some quick updates, just a, a big reminder. The PPP loan program ends on June 30th. All the loans have, the applications have to have their SBA loan number um, by the end of the day on June 30th. So if you are still working with your lender on the PPP loan, uh, stay on top of that. Um, there's a lot of lenders that may not take applications after today in order to process the applications they have. So be mindful. Um, if you have any questions about that, please reach out to us uh, directly. We can guide you to some lenders that, that should be able to help you out in that time frame. Um, but be, be mindful of the PPP loan program ending uh, very soon. Also, we want to talk about and uh, mention our, the ACA programs that we have available for businesses out there. We have our small business services. Uh, we can help navigate with the SBA and the Small Business Development Centers, who we work very closely with. Um, we could do a lot of stuff that we do without their support um, and their partnership. Also, our workforce team can help employers source and find employees. As many of you are maybe looking for new employees as you're growing, that they can be a resource for you there as well. And then our Arizona Manufacturing Extension Partnership, Arizona AMUP, uh, is a program to help support and grow the manufacturing businesses in Arizona. 
Uh, quick reminder about the state's COVID-19 information resource website, Arizona Together. Uh, if you have questions or want more information on COVID-19, you can find it there. And then we have our guides list. Um, this is a list and these are all linked on our resource collective. You can find the information for all the guides that are available to small businesses out there, whether you're in construction, hair salon, retail, restaurant, there's a guide to help your business uh, get back at it and stay safe and return strongly. Additionally, for business resources uh, during this COVID-19, we have our AZ Commerce business resource page. Um, you can go to azcommerce.com slash COVID-19 uh, for more information, including access to the bootcamp website. So we're excited today. We've got uh, Alexis Galvan and Teresa Cox representing eBay. Um, we're looking forward to this. So I'm going to go ahead and close out my screen and turn the time over to eBay to share their information with everybody. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> good morning, everybody. So excited to be here. I know it's a pretty crazy time in the world, probably a pretty busy time in your lives. So I really appreciate all of you taking some time to be with us today and hear us um, share a little bit about eBay and what we think makes our kind of platform and marketplace so special and why we would absolutely love to have you join us. Um, if you can go to the next slide and I'm going to be introducing Teresa a little bit later. She's actually one of our superstar sellers. So I'm excited for you to hear directly from her because really she's, she's the expert here. Um, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a background of, of kind of who eBay is, because obviously everyone is probably on this call has heard of eBay, but you may not know all that we've become. We've been around a little while and we've evolved a lot, um, over the years. So I want to give you a little bit of a snapshot of how we began and where we are today. So next slide, please. So, you know, these days I, I think, I, I feel like I look around and I see a lot of companies out there are trying to kind of reverse engineer purpose into their business model, or at least into how they talk about their businesses. But the folks like me who work at eBay are really lucky because we were born with a really visionary purpose as our absolute kind of founding, you know, North Star. Our founder, Pierre Omidyar, who was an immigrant to the US, um, saw this new crazy thing called the internet and saw in it a possibility to create an entirely new form of commerce, a commerce that was uh, built by the people for the people, a, a form of commerce that was open and inclusive and democratic and accessible to anyone virtually anywhere. So Pierre essentially invented the, this, this thing that we now know of as e-commerce. And um, he did so with this belief that people are fundamentally basically good at their core. If you just give them a chance to connect and to transact together, they will do the right thing. And then together they can create all sorts of opportunities and livelihoods for themselves and for each other. Next slide. So um, we've grown a lot and our, com our operations have become much more complex since those early days 25 years ago. This year is actually our 25th birthday, which is pretty amazing. Um, and, but we've kind of maintained that, that founding purpose as our North Star. So now when you join eBay, there's a variety of kind of processes that are happening sometimes behind the scenes, sometimes that you are kind of manipulating on the platform. Um, and we have lots and lots of tools and recommendations and guidance with each step of the way. So when you're listing, we'll help you help you understand how to price your items uh, to make sure that you're maintaining that bottom line, which is of course is so important. Um, we'll tell you how to optimize your listing so that as shoppers are browsing, they're able to find what they want and hopefully they'll actually buy that item from you. Um, transaction, we've got all sorts of kind of payment options, making it really flexible and convenient for your buyers. We have a whole platform called eBay for Charity, which enables you to actually support uh, causes that are important to you through your eBay sales. We have a number of different shipping tools and shipping calculators to make that part really, really easy. Um, I hear from a lot of folks who are relatively new to e-commerce that that shipping part is the most daunting aspect of, of, of selling online. But you don't need to worry if this is new to you. We've got lots and lots of guidance and tools to make it really, really easy for you. Um, lots of delivery options. We've got discounted rates with all the major carriers. Um, we're a trust-based marketplace, so you get to rate your buyers, your buyers get to rate you, so, we, so our customers and our sellers get to come on board and understand who they're transacting with, because again, we're that kind of human-centered marketplace. 
Um, we've got all sorts of policies in place to make sure that we've got your back. So if something goes wrong, we're going to step in and help you out. So lots of, lots, lots of support from end to end on eBay. Next slide, please. This gives you a quick snapshot um, of kind of, of the, the numbers, which is important, right? We're all here to, to grow our businesses and, and, and make more money. So this kind of gives you a, a, a glimpse of what's possible on eBay. Um, this is just from the first quarter of, of this year, uh, generated $21.3 billion in, in GMV. And essentially GMV stands for gross merchandise um, value, which is essentially the, the value of the, of the merchandise that was sold through eBay. Um, 174 million active buyers. So I'm not sure, you know, if you, any of you have brick and mortars, I don't know if you're getting that kind of foot traffic. I hope you are, <laughs> but if not, we certainly have that to offer. Um, at any given time, you're going to find around 1.4 billion listings on eBay, which is pretty exciting. Um, as my mom would say, there's a lid for every pot. So whether you're looking for some vintage Air Jordans or a brand new iPhone or a Rolex watch, we've got it. We've got it. Uh, so come on by and shop with us. Um, and then this is something I always want to point out because I think when people think of eBay, they often think of kind of the old eBay or kind of the original eBay, which was this kind of online auction house that was people were selling kind of these quirky antiques and other kind of specialty items. We still have that. That's part of kind of what makes eBay so fun and so special. But at this point, 79% of what is sold on eBay is brand new. So just like you'd find on Walmart or Target or Amazon or any of those other marketplaces, you can get it and sell it on eBay as well. Next slide, please. So this gives you a sense of the velocity. Um, you know, I talked about all those billions of, of, of items and those millions of buyers. Um, a watch is purchased every five seconds. A smartphone is purchased also every five seconds. A tool every three seconds. Trading cards, really, really popular on eBay every one second. So that's uh, some pretty, some pretty uh, serious speed there. Next slide. Thank you so much. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we were kind of founded in this belief that, that the internet could, could kind of birth this new form of commerce. And with that, we saw this ability to kind of use our, our position, our power as a platform to really empower small businesses to hopefully stay local, keep their doors wide open in their local communities, keep hiring locally, but at the same time, grow by opening up their doors to our global marketplace and our global kind of consumer base um, and really thrive in today's digital economy. And boy, are we sure seeing the importance of that right now. Um, it's been no surprise to any of us that e-commerce is growing, but with this pandemic, we've seen how utterly vital it is that small businesses have a really strong e-commerce game. Um, wherever they may, whatever channel they may choose to, to sell through, um, it's really, really critical to have that digital component so that you're able to kind of keep the lights on and keep growing. Next slide, please. So as you're contemplating e-commerce, or maybe some of you are already engaged in it, um, you certainly know that there are lots and lots of options out there. Uh, and we actually encourage you to sell on any and every platform that makes sense for you and for your business. The only thing we would say to that is to make sure that you're doing your research, you're looking under the hood, you're kicking the tires, you're really understanding um, how the different marketplaces work because they are quite different in their fee structures and their policies and just kind of the fundamental way they, they conduct their business. So here's a quick snapshot of, of what we think makes eBay different, special uh, and really promising for your businesses. The first thing is something that I cannot possibly say enough or say clearly enough. We are your partners, period, end of sentence. <laughs> we don't compete with you. Uh, we don't carry any inventory of our own that we store in distribution centers around the country and manage with robots and drones and all that crazy stuff. We just work with human beings transacting with other human beings and just trying to make those transactions as seamless and as profitable for you as possible. And because of that, we only win when you win. So if you don't make money, we don't make money. It's very much a partnership. We believe in win-wins, not zero-sum games. Um, and that's one of the things that makes me so kind of proud and excited to work for eBay because it's, it's kind of, a, it's like I said before, it's this kind of new form of commerce where it's very collaborative, cooperative, um, and, and really rooted in that belief that we can be partners, not competitors or adversaries. 
Um, second thing is reach. I touched on this a little bit before. We have a pretty massive reach to customers, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. We have offices all over the world with teams that are dedicated to um, building up the following of eBay among consumers in those local markets. Um, so lots and lots of active buyers from around the world. And then again, we have tools to help you reach them. So we can tell you how to actually adjust your listings to make sure that, that customers around the world are finding them and, and realizing that that's the item that they want. And then once they actually make the purchase, we make global shipping really simple for you. We've got all sorts of services and programs that you can take advantage of, discounted rates, lots and lots of good stuff to take kind of the, the daunting aspect out of that part of selling on eBay. Uh, flexibility, this is also a really key piece. Uh, and it's something that I think other kind of massive platforms like eBay don't necessarily offer or offer as well. Um, it's, it's a very friendly, flexible marketplace. Whether you are a tiny mom and pop just getting started online or whether you're a pretty massive brand, we've got you. You can succeed with us. We've got all sorts of tools and opportunities kind of to meet you where you are and help you grow at your own pace. Next up, integrity. This is a really big thing. Um, as I mentioned, we've got seller protections in place. If something goes wrong, we're going to help you get that sorted out. Uh, we've got very transparent pricing systems, so you'll know what you're getting into. You can see and make sure you kind of build that into your pricing to make sure that you maintain uh, profitability. We've got very clear policies and fair enforcement uh, kind of structures, so we're not. there's no gotcha moments. There's no kind of you know, arbitration courts and all these kind of crazy things that you may read about with other platforms. It's very, very clear um, how we conduct our business and how we expect you to conduct your business. So it's very much a partnership in that way. Um, we also don't collect your data and use it against you. Um, we use it to inform kind of how we can actually improve the platform and improve uh, your performance on the platform. And then last but certainly not least, um, connection. So we really think of ourselves and conduct ourselves as a community, as Teresa will say, I'm sure, a little later in this, in this webinar. Um, our sellers are quite unique in that they're really supportive. They're really enthusiastic. They help each other out. Um, I've even seen people who you'd think would be competitors kind of trading notes and, and, and say, hey, where do you get your inventory? What do you get your inventory? And how do you price this? And it's, 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 it's really a heartening thing to see, especially during these times where I feel like everyone is kind of getting pulled apart. It's just a very kind of connected, um, supportive community. Uh, and we don't just sit back and wait for sellers to come to us and let them do their thing. We actually go out into communities um, when we could. We would do that actually in person. Now we're trying to do that virtually. Getting out into communities, letting them know the kind of opportunities that exist on eBay and developing all sorts of programs to kind of get them on board, get them up and running um, and to support them along the way. And then we work closely with our government relations team who does fantastic work working uh, with legislators at the local, state, and federal levels, advocating for all of the policies that are impacting you, your businesses, your bottom lines. So we are fighting on the front lines, often shoulder to shoulder with you on those issues. Next slide, please. Um, I won't go through every detail here, but this kind of gives you a quick snapshot of what all of that work and all of that kind of unique value that I just talked about. What has that enabled actually for our small businesses? And this just touches on number one, the reach um, that we enable for, for our small businesses on eBay. 97% um, of eBay businesses uh, export compared to 1% of just regular businesses across the, across the country. Um, and there's also, we also see much higher growth rates um, on eBay uh, versus businesses um, just in general. So lots and lots of opportunity waiting for you with us. Next slide, please. So um, we were already doing all this great work with small businesses. Like I said, it was baked into the kind of the fundamental ethos of our company and of our kind of business model. But of course, once COVID hit and we all understood uh, the gravity and kind of the staying power of this, of this pandemic, we realized we needed to step up even further and fast. Uh, we were looking around, seeing all these closures, hopefully most of them temporary, um, and seeing what, what can we do to possibly kind of mitigate the impact of this on our small businesses and on the communities that depend on them. And of course, you know, we were all feeling hopeful as, as, as kind of the, the numbers started plateauing and all those graphs started moving in the right direction. So things started opening up. 
And now, of course, I'm based in Texas. <laughs> so uh, I'm kind of at the, one of the new ground zeros of, of COVID. Uh, and so now we're seeing things moving in the wrong direction again. So again, it, it just underscores the absolute critical value of small businesses optimizing their presence online and really kind of making the most of, of that channel for their, for their um, sustainability and growth. So we looked around and said, okay, we're eBay. We have got this massive marketplace. We've got resources. What the heck can we do to help? So next slide, please. So we started first kind of looking inward. Okay, what can we do for our existing sellers to make sure that they stay whole, that they stay supported and they can kind of keep selling and keep, um, you know, generating livelihoods for themselves and their families. So the first thing we did, we de deferred fees. We said we cash flow is probably an issue for most of our sellers. So don't you worry, we're going to push those fees on down the roads. You just focus on staying afloat right now. Next thing is we offer them free listings. So you don't pay anything and anything to list and sell. All that money goes right into your pocket. Uh, we also raised our listing limits for sellers um, to enable them to get more inventory on the site and more revenue into their pockets. And then we unleashed kind of the power of our marketing and our PR teams uh, and, and produce all sorts of kind of graphic assets and TV commercials and social media campaigns um, to really make the public aware of the fact um, that when you shop on eBay, you're essentially shopping on the world's biggest main street. Uh, and when you're, you're, you're supporting a local business. So I think all of us, maybe one positive thing that have, has come of the pandemic is that we've realized how important our local businesses are to us. I mean, no one wants to walk down main street, whether you're a small business owner or not, no one wants to have that experience and see all the doors shuttered. You know, we want our bookstores and our fashion boutiques and our ice cream shops and all of those critical things that make our lives so wonderful, right? Um, so we wanted to make the public aware that, look, your local shops may be closed. Hopefully that changes soon. But in the meantime, you can come on to eBay and when you shop, it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to be shopping from a local business. So uh, local to somewhere. Um, so we wanted to make sure the public was aware of that great option um, for them. Uh, next slide, please. So that was what we kind of did internally. And then we thought, okay, what can we do externally? How can we make sure that small businesses like all of you out there um, understand the unique value that eBay has to offer and that you take advantage of, of our platform, especially in this critical time. So we wanted to do something that made that super easy for you um, and really kind of did, tried to do everything we could to really get you up and running or stay up and running locally, uh, but also get up and running on eBay. So we launched this new initiative called Up and Running. Um, you can go to the next slide and I can share with you all of that, all the benefits that it offers. So we launched this April 2nd and the current phase of the promotion runs through June 30th. So we're almost there, but don't panic. Number one, there's still time to get involved and get all of these benefits. Uh, and number two, starting July 1st, the benefits may change a little bit, but there's still a lot of good stuff in there. And then August, we may change again. We're constantly just trying to get feedback from the sellers, what was valuable to you, what wasn't. We're looking to see how kind of the environment changes and, and how needs may change along with that and trying to make sure that we're kind of keeping pace and offering stuff that's really, really of value to small businesses. So if you were to sign up today, you get a free three month basic store subscription. You don't need store subscription on eBay to sell even as a business, but they're a great option for a lot of businesses. They offer lots of kind of extra bells and whistles, extra discounts, um, some extra kind of functionality and marketing and analysis. So it's definitely something to, to explore and we offer it to you for free for three months. At the end, there's no obligation. If you don't like it, didn't do, didn't work for you, no problem. You can cancel, you can upgrade, you can downgrade, um, totally up to you. Second thing is discounts on fees. So right now, if you were to sign up today and start selling right away, you would not sell any fees whatsoever. Um, all of that money would go directly into your pocket. Great, right? Who doesn't love free money? Um, that's gonna change slightly uh, uh, starting July 1st. Um, so you could always go to ebay.com slash up and running and get the latest details. Um, we're also developing all sorts of really cool brand new kind of e-learning resources. So not just webinars like this one, but actually a full kind of e-learning platform. So you can go on, we've got curriculum already designed for you and you can just follow it along and learn at your own pace. Um, we've got folks like Teresa lined up um, for seller to seller mentorship. We've got an online community built and ready for you. Um, so you can just join that. You can ask questions, get inspiration. Um, from other fellow sellers, because it's one thing hearing from us who are kind of paid by eBay to kind of tell you stuff, but it's a whole other kind of um, la layer of value to hear it directly from sellers. 
And then fifth, just more promotional support. So once you're on board, we're going to be constantly kind of scanning, um, you know, scanning behind the scenes for great stories. We want to make sure that we're bringing your stories and your success and your products out into the light and into kind of the, the minds and hopefully carts of consumers out there. Um, and speaking of promotional support, I think in the next slide we have a video that we produced and um, maybe it's the next one. Sorry. Here we go. Yeah, if you play that, hopefully the sound is working. We call them small businesses, but maybe we need a better name because it's these businesses that are powering America right now. A lot of them had to shut their doors, but many of them are still open on eBay, getting people the things they need. And in return, getting the business they need to keep going. Our small businesses are getting it done, keeping you and themselves thriving. And that's no small thing. Amen to that. There is nothing small about small business. And I wanted to mention earlier that in addition to the work I do at eBay, I'm also a small business owner. So I apply for the PPP loan. I've had sleepless nights. I know the pain, I know the glory. Um, and so I really appreciate all of you guys being here today and working so hard um, to keep your businesses afloat, even in the best of times, but especially now. So here's a quick few slides just to kind of hopefully illustrate how easy it is to get started, to get up and running. Um, and we could actually just go to the next slide. I could talk about each of these steps individually. So number one, register. It's super, super quick and easy. Uh, you can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. It's absolutely free. You don't need tons of kind of tax documents ready or any of that crazy stuff. Just a few pieces of basic um, business information and internet connection, of course, uh, and you'll be ready to go. Once you're registered, uh, again, it's a super flexible platform. You can manage your account um, on your computer or your smartphone. So really nice and easy there. And it's customizable. Uh, you can actually build out your own special storefront on eBay. You can add your logo. You can add some graphics. You can add a nice little description so that when people come to your store on eBay, they have, get a feel for who you are and what makes your business so special. Next slide, please. Then you're gonna list, um, that's, that's the most important part, right? You gotta get your products out there so people can find them and buy them. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we make this really, really easy for you. So all along through kind of the listing flow process, we're gonna make recommendations, we're gonna give you pricing guidance. Um, there's lots of tools there ready for you to use uh, to make that process super easy. Um, Photography is super important. You wanna make sure you have really crisp, high quality, high resolution um, photos so that people get a really good view of what you're selling. And we make that easy too, because we know, understand that not all of you have a full on like photo studio in the back of your office somewhere. So actually you can take pictures using the eBay app and we will clean up all the backgrounds for you. So we'll give you a nice white, crisp, uh, clean background, which helps with Google shopping, search results and all sorts of other great stuff. And then we have a ton of promotions tools that you can use um, to really kind of drive buyers to your uh, listing. And then once they're there to really incentivize them to, to click buy and, and complete that transaction. Next slide, please. Shipping, again, I know this is kind of a pain point for some of you, but worry not. We've got lots of stuff waiting for you to make it nice and simple. We've got rate calculators uh, so you can figure out how much that shipping cost is going to cost. Um, and you can either choose to pass that off to the seller or you, could, you can um, absorb it into the, to the item price. We've got carrier discounts um, that you can take advantage of. We've got even branded shipping supplies if you want to send out a really nice polished uh, kind of good looking package to delight your customers, you can do that. Um, we've got global shipping support a few different programs and services there uh, to take kind of the, the confusion and pain out of that process. And then once again, lots of protective policies in place to make sure your transactions and businesses, businesses uh, remain secure. Next slide, please. Grow, uh, that's what we're all here to do, right? Grow our businesses. Um, eBay has a fantastic tool called Seller Hub. It is free and accessible to all eBay sellers. Um, it, think of it as kind of your very own custom business dashboard. So you're going to get an at a glance view of all of your sales history. You're going to get listing recommendations. So if you have a listing up for a while and it's not quite selling, we're actually going to analyze that for you and tell you what you can do to actually help uh, drive some traffic and momentum. Um, and sales course, uh, you can see kind of your buyer trends, inventory trends, access growth recommendations, all sorts of great stuff all in one place. So that's a fantastic tool that's just waiting for you. 
Um, as I mentioned before, we do have store subscriptions. You don't need a store subscription to sell, but they are pretty great for some businesses, especially as you grow and your operations become more complex. Um, branded, uh, kind of more enhanced branding options for that storefront that I talked about, discounted fees, uh, free shipping supplies, and lots, lots more. And then when you need support, because we always gonna, we're going to have questions, right? Uh, we have our community forum that I talked about um, with both eBay team members and mentors kind of monitoring that to make sure you're getting the answers that you need uh, quickly. We've got, of course, our 24-7 customer service team. And we also host a number of seller events. Hopefully we can do that in person again soon. Um, but we do them virtually now, so we kind of travel digitally across the country and bring sellers in together from kind of local uh, regions, and we give you immediate access to some of our top, top level executives at the company. Um, they take uh, seller feedback very, very seriously. Um, we cannot improve if we don't hear from you what's not working, right? So that's our opportunity to hear what is working, what isn't working, what are your ideas. Um, it's a very much kind of a collaborative process. So once those get going, I hope you'll join us for those. Um, next slide, I think we may be, oh, this is just a quick glimpse of some of the videos that we've just produced um, specifically for the Up and Running initiative. You can find all of these at up and, uh, ebay.com slash up and running, quick little helpful how-to videos. So if you're not quite sure how to get started, don't worry, just check these out and we walk, through, walk you through each step of the way. And I think this is the last slide. So hopefully at this point you're feeling like this sounds great, sign me up. Um, all you need to do is go to ebay.com slash up and running. Again, remember that if you sign up before uh, June 30th, um, the benefits are kind of, there's one package of benefits. If you sign up after June 30th, that's gonna change a little bit. So um, I would advise definitely sign up before June 30th if you can. Um, we would love to have you and we really honored to help you grow your business. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to the real star of the show, uh, Teresa Cox, who is just kind of a legendary superstar in our world. And I'm so excited to have her um, share with us a bit of her story uh, and insight with you all. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, I guess I, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting to speak with the slide on the screen. So um, my name's Teresa. That's me on the screen there. Um, I, uh, I will tell you that I had a 30 year career uh, in higher ed doing finance and operations. And I actually got my, started my journey on eBay in the fall of 95. I was working for a university in Southern California and I was given the task of trying to sell off some old but new computer equipment. And that was my introduction to eBay. And I did that for a couple of years and it took me a while before the light bulb went off and I went, oh, I could do this for my own stuff. And so uh, that's when the, uh, my uh, current account, Club Red 97, the 97 is for the year that I actually created the account. So I've been a super seller on eBay, loved it for uh, almost 25 years now. And um, I, did, I did it part-time for uh, 15 years or 20, uh, over to almost 20 years. And I uh, was working at a university here in Arizona and I got uh, uh, laid off from my dream job. And I was like, okay, this is, this is not a problem. I'm going to pivot and I can start selling on eBay full time. And um, that was a, it was scary, but it was kind of like the push I needed to do it because selling uh, part-time as a part-time uh, seller, I was able to, uh, sell, I was able to make about $800 to $1,000 a month. And that was just my play money for years, not really putting a lot of effort into it and just kind of selling things here and there, listing when I could type thing. So when I really focused on it and I decided I was going to make this a business, I will tell you that that was in June of 2012. And in uh, the following February, I had a slow month. And February for me is a slow month, depending on, you know, the type of things that you sell and what you're doing. Um, February tends to be a slow month for me. And all of a sudden I didn't have a cushion and I was like, oh no, what, do I, what am I gonna do? So I had to uh, change it up a bit and I went back to work. There was another, I went back to the same university. Um, I worked, was working at ASU, got another job there and um, was kind of doing the, you know, part-time reselling and full-time um, nine to five job again. And then I got laid off of that job and I was like, oh, I can't do this. So um, eventually I just decided that 
because uh, I, I went back one, a third time and got laid off again. It, just a lot of restructuring going on in the university. And I just said, I'm done. And um, that's when I just, I, I made up my mind. I was going to make this work. I was going to figure out how to do it. And um, I did. And so I have been selling full time since the fall of 2015. And in that time, I uh, was able to, I had a huge house. I had a big house that I sold. So it's not, not like I didn't have any credit, but I was able to buy another house with qualifying with just my eBay income in the fall of 2017. And that was a big deal for me. That was like my proof that, okay, you can do this. You've made it. Um, and that, um, that house I purchased to use as an office and I used the garage for, uh, to store my inventory. And then I run it as an Airbnb. So it's another source of income. Um, and that's been very, very profitable. And I've uh, loved it. And so part of my journey is uh, just, you know, taking your situation and pivoting and figuring things out. And um, I will tell you that I feel like right now I've got it figured out. I've got my inventory figured out. I've got my um, process figured out. I've got all kinds of, um, uh, I've got some help that helps me uh, keep things going. And in the last couple, this COVID has been a very, uh, I know it's been very negative for a lot of businesses, but for online sellers, uh, most of my uh, friends in the community, it's been a great, um, uh, we've seen a great increase in our business. And so um, I have reached out to some people that have brick and mortar and um, help them get started on eBay. And um, it has helped them as well. So that's just kind of where, how I got from, you know, learning about eBay in 95 to where I am now uh, working on it from home. I don't have to go anywhere. Um, and I love what I do. Um, eBay is a great community. Uh, the resources are out there. Um, my mom had a brick and mortar quilt shop in Southern California for 17 years. And she closed it down in 97, just as I was starting to get going on eBay. And I've always said that if she would, if if she would have stayed open for another year or two, I think I could have really uh, done to her, her quilt shop what I think that uh, brick and mortars can do today with um, moving their inventory online and having access to that 174 million um, active buyers worldwide. Um, so anyways, I'm um, happy to be here. I love what I do. I love helping uh, people get started on eBay. I have a meetup group um, that meets in Tempe that has about 150 very seasoned active sellers in it. Um, I love teaching about eBay. I have a Facebook group that has about 6,000 sellers and it is a tight knit community. And we uh, do reach out, like um, Alexa said, we do reach out and, and share with ideas and, and how are you handling this and so on and so forth. So welcome anybody uh, that wants to get on board the e-commerce into the community um, because it's a great place to be. It's a great place to learn. It's a great place to expand your business. Excellent. Thank you so much, Teresa. Um, so uh, I, if you have any questions for me, for Teresa, I invite you to ask them. We are here. Um, Teresa, maybe if there are any kind of technical questions, Teresa, you may be a better position to answer them than I am, but certainly if we don't have the answers, then we'll get them to you. Oh, good. I see one. Let's see. Um, if an SBDC client is having problems with their eBay account and ask us for help, is there someone we can contact? Um, yes. So there is an email address um, up and running at ebay.com. I actually monitor that myself, uh, myself, as do a few other my team members. Um, so that's not going to some kind of robot. It's not some automated thing. It's going to real human beings. So um, we can we can share that maybe in the in the um, Q and A or wherever how, how, however we can get that information to you. But up and running at ebay.com. I'll be happy to help you. Um, what is Teresa's business? Uh, so I started, I, I laugh about this because I literally started selling on eBay, selling red things. I love the color red. Um, and so anytime I would find something red, I would buy one for me and buy five or six to sell on eBay. And um, so I literally started doing that. And like every eBay seller, you start off selling, uh, well, not every, but most eBay sellers, you start off selling one thing and then you branch into, uh, now I sell anything that I can make uh a living a profit off of. 
Um, but I do kind of have two, um, two roads, I call them. I do sell uh, new clothes, athletic clothes and shoes that I source locally from um, uh, different places, a lot of clearance items, a lot of, I do a lot of uh, online shopping that I turn around and resell on eBay. But um, I did have this big house. It was a six bedroom, three bath house that I lived in by myself that I sold um, four years ago. And I had the idea that I was, instead of going to go get a full-time job when I sold that house, I was going to list all the stuff that most people would donate. And in my mind, I thought, let me see if I could make $100,000 in a year. And um, I will tell you that I moved three times in 18 months. And I feel like last summer, I finally got this project. I finally got my organization down and everything. And I finally got this project um, off and running. Um, and I am just getting started and I just tallied my stuff up last week and I've made over $30,000 and I haven't even really started listing my personal stuff. Um, but $30,000 of items that most of us would just donate. So I have the new items and then I'm, I'm mostly selling my, um, my own stuff, which um, oddly is not, um, doesn't make me sad at all. I love it when somebody wants to pay me $40 for a dress that I wore to work three years. And now, you know, it's, it's, for, it's listed for sale on eBay. Um, so, you know, but as far as sourcing stuff, um, sales, I, uh, I don't do a lot of liquidation online just because I don't have the space to process it. But um, if you start looking at items that you can buy and flip, uh, a lot of people are thrifters. I'm not a thrifter. I don't, um, the thrill of the hunt is not inbred in me, but that's where a lot of my eBay seller friends do source their stuff. Awesome. Uh, let's see, so lots of good questions in here. Th there's some um, long time eBayers in here. It's good, getting tough questions. So does eBay provide any formal collaboration with other sellers to partner and share synergies and cross-selling activities with other sellers? Um, I can start that answer, but Teresa, if you wanted to uh, chime in, I would definitely love that. Um, so as I mentioned, we do have our online community. Um, which is a forum that anyone can join and that you're getting, you're getting to kind of interact directly with other sellers. Um, we do have a, a pretty expansive network of meetup groups. Um, they're now shifting obviously to virtual uh, for the most part, but hopefully we'll, we'll get that changed back to normal pretty soon. Um, so we have a whole, uh, we can connect you with your local meetup groups and then you can find other local eBay sellers and kind of swap tips and talk shop there. Um, Teresa, how else do you interact with other eBay sellers? Well, uh, locally, I, like I, I mentioned, I do have a meetup group. Um, it's called EVs, East Valley Innovative eBay Sellers, because I'm all about the acronym. And, um, and we meet, well, we were meeting once a month in Tempe, but, um, and we haven't really um, done a lot of virtual stuff since uh, COVID, but it is a very seasoned active group. I would welcome anybody uh, that wants to join us to, you know, reach out. I'm not sure how that works with this group, but you know, we are all local sellers and we all are in the Phoenix area. Another thing that I would encourage you to look up is, um, Alexis talked about the uh, seller events. eBay is very seller friendly and the community um, from the executives down to the uh, workers in the trenches are very, um, they actively seek out to talk to sellers and, and get feedback from sellers. And so they are having, they're doing, um, a series of what they call up fronts and they're doing them all over the country. They were going to be uh, physical uh, uh, meetings. Now they're virtual as Alexa said, but they are doing one in Phoenix in November. And so if you uh, Google the eBay uh, seller events <clears throat> and you click on the Phoenix one and sign up, um, you'll get a lot of eBay fun eBay swag, but you'll get a chance to, uh, talk with other sellers and um, these events are great because the uh, executives and the directors that are over, um, you know, listing or over shipping or whatever are there and, and you can talk to them about your concerns, your frustrations, and they listen and they take notes and they go back to their team. And it's just, it's a great way to interact with the people that are working on the product that can make or break your business. And most, and everybody that I ever, I work with a lot of different eBay teams. And they're always wanting to make the platform better for sellers. That's true. Thank you, Teresa. 
Um, next question is a tricky one, and I don't feel totally confident answering it. Um, but, but we can, um, from GR wants to chime in. What are the sales tax regulations for interstate commerce? Um, it might be better if we follow up with you, Carolyn, um, unless I hear otherwise from one of my colleagues here, but uh, there's, it's, I don't know that there's a real short, easy answer for that, but we can kind of follow up. Um, can I answer to that? Yeah, please. The sales tax question does, uh, and Teresa, you might be able to answer this. <clears throat> does eBay charge sales tax um, on all the sales? Um, because my understanding is marketplace uh, websites such as eBay or Pinterest or even Smug Mug, if you're doing photos on like Smug Mug, they're supposed to charge the sales tax for the state upon where the buyer is from. Cor correct, yeah. So I, not all 50 states have enacted this yet, but Arizona is one that does. And so eBay does collect and remit sales tax on behalf of their sellers. Okay. So if that's your question, that yes, that does, that does take place. And eBay has it all figured out that if I ship something to Florida, they collect the tax on it and then they remit the tax to the state of Florida for me. Well, that's, you know, to, to share, that's a definitely a benefit to, instead of trying to, you know, on an online store yourself, there are those tax requirements um, from it's the Wayfair versus South Dakota uh, lawsuit and South Dakota won that and they, you have to pay sales tax if you're selling online for every state you're in your sell to and it's, it can be very complicated. And so the various online marketplaces uh, can help with that. Yeah. And Carolyn, we're happy to follow up. If you want to write to up and running at ebay.com, um, we can get even more information for you if, if you need, if you have more specific details that you're looking for. Um, there's a specific kind of technical question for Melanie. Why is there a red countdown listing and ending in when are there, uh, when the listing is until sold? Um, I don't know if you can see that question, Teresa. Do you have any insight there why that might be? I don't. I don't know if this is an auction question, and I will tell you that I have over 5,000 listings on eBay, and I don't have any auction items. Um, and um, just because of the type of stuff that I sell, and because I believe that we are in a um, instant gratification society, and um, so nobody wants to wait till Friday for an auction mm -hmm. to end to buy a T-shirt that they want to wear on Wednesday. So that's just my philosophy. There are a lot of different types of. Um, listings that do well in auctions. Um, but personally, I don't think everyday type things are do well. And so I believe because of that, I don't have a lot of auction experience, recent auction experience. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but Melanie, please feel free to reach out to me via up and running at ebay.com and I can try to get that sorted out for you. Um, Anonymous asks, uh, do you have tutorials on how to find products for private labeling? Um, I'm actually not familiar with any. I don't know if you've come across that, Teresa. No, it's that's not really an eBay thing. You would have to go outside of eBay. There's a lot of people that do private labeling, um, and so it, you would you would figure out how to do that and how to go about um, sourcing your inventory and then bring it to eBay. But eBay does not specifically teach buyers how to uh, so create and source uh, private label products. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, two questions about Google Shopping. Um, so we intersect, uh, I, yes, we intersect in that we, um, there are a variety of things that you can do to your listings um, to help ensure that they never show up in Google Shopping results. So if someone is searching for a red t-shirt, um, there are kind of tips and tools that we provide to make sure that you are um, optimizing your listing so that your eBay listing shows up in that search result. Um, Teresa, I don't know if you wanted to add anything there. No, um, you know, eBay has done a lot of work uh, to help sellers uh, be able to be seen in the Google search and um, the whole thing of um, the removing the background, that product is amazing. You take the picture with your phone and, you know, for most of us, I, I have an old iPhone 6 that I use exclusively just to take pictures for eBay and it works great. Take them in square mode, um, one to one ratio and um, use the app to uh, uh, quickly and easily 
make the background white, which is one of the requirements to be seen in Google Shopping. Um, and yeah, so eBay is constantly working with to improve what they do so that, that so that sellers can be seen in Google search and that can drive traffic to eBay. And it works. Yeah. Um, do you consider eBay good for B and B or is it more B to C, um, B to B? Um, it's, I, I mean, I probably, I don't have numbers on this. I think it's pri I, primarily geared to B to C, but there is, um, we have all sorts of things like volume discounts and there are a lot of kind of commercial sellers who, um, who do uh, kind of market or focus their kind of, their, um, trying to reach a, a, a business audience. I can't really, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm falling short on this. Um, so yes, I would say it's primarily geared towards B2C, but there definitely are B2B sellers out there. Um, Teresa, sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, yeah, I don't have much to add there. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of um, the person that I buy my shipping labels from and I buy some of my shipping boxes sells on eBay. So I buy them through their eBay store. So that would be a B2B. Um, we don't really know um, if somebody's a business or a personal because if you, um, we do know that a lot of our, our eBay sellers sell things to um, movie sets and to uh, production companies, Hollywood type production companies. And um, the only way we know that is if somebody happens to catch an address or something and they say, hey, this is going to the set of, uh, what is that, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Like we've, mm -hmm. like, uh, they're buying a lot of their stuff off of eBay. And, um, but because a lot of those people have personal accounts, we can't really tell that it's a business account. So um, I don't really have a good feel for it, but I do know that I do buy from other businesses on eBay. Yeah. Um, what percentage of items are listed uh, as auction versus sold as a set price um, or fixed price? Um, I think it's in the 80% range. So it's it's pretty predominantly uh, fixed price listings at this point. Um, but like Teresa mentioned, auctions are great, great options for like really specialty kind of very, um, whether it's vintage or kind of limited edition or those items that are super, super rare and that you want to kind of let the market determine the price for. Um, Let's see, uh, are there fees to have merchandise available online to be sold? You mentioned you have thousands of items. Um, just wanted to make one note and then I can pass the mic on to Teresa and that eBay has um, two different fees that you pay as a seller. Um, number one, an insertion fee, which is basically a fee to just list the item. Um, you get fit free, uh, 50 free listings per month and then beyond that you pay um, a listing fee depending on what the item is and what category it's in. And then you pay a final value fee, which basically you only pay when you actually sell the item. Um, I can tell you that starting July 1st, uh, we're offering um, no listing fees for up to 200 items. So you get some extra value there. Um, but beyond that, oh, I, th I don't know where that question went when I wanted to reference it. But um, so there are, yeah, there are fees to list, uh, but we, you do get 50 free listings per month. Um, and then beyond that, you do pay a, a small price. Um, can you tell them something about selling handmade products? Yes. Um, so we're seeing more and more of that on eBay, um, which is pretty exciting. I love that category. Um, I would say that in those categories, you might have to do a little bit more heavy lifting and making sure that you're kind of doing your own marketing um, because there are sites out there like Etsy, for example, I think that comes first to mind when people think that, you know, they want to look for something handmade. Um, but that again is a growing category for us. We're seeing lots of more searches for handmade items, lots more, lots more listings. Um, so it's definitely um, a viable option. Um, are most of your orders processed and shipped using the United States Postal Service? I don't actually have the numbers at uh, um, at my fingertips. Um, we work with USPS, FedEx, and UPS. I don't know necessarily know the breakdowns um, of you know the, the proportions of who, who uses which service. I would say probably USPS is absolutely number one. I think we're one of the USPS's biggest customers in um, across the country. So I think that probably. Yes, well, that's probably yes. <laughs> I would say you probably 98% of my items I ship through USPS. And one of the reasons, I mean, eBay, if you ship through their eBay platform, you do get a discounted rate. And I do sign up to have it um, picked up on my porch every day. 
And especially during COVID that has helped keep, keep me from going outside and dropping them off at the post office. And that's a free service that the uh, post office provides. And, um, you know, most of the time, first class gets there in three days, priority gets there in two to two to three days. And depending on where it's going, it's pretty fast. And so I, I, some larger, heavier items, I might go to a different carrier, but for the most part, 98% of my items do ship through USPS. It depends on what you sell. That's going to be mm -hmm. the desire. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and I see some sellers offering, you know, a variety of services. If people want it expedited, they can, maybe they'll offer free standard service through USPS, but if you want it expedited, maybe you can, you can sellers, or excuse me, buyers can pay an additional fee to get it expedited through FedEx or, U, or UPS. Um, so lots of options. And um, I think Teresa touched on this, but we have something called eBay labels. So you can actually print your USPS labels right through eBay. All you need is a regular printer. You don't need a fancy label printer. Um, and there you get discounted rates that way. So that's definitely something to check out. Um, how, where can I find your past webinars, including this one to listen to it again? Um, so if you go to ebay.com slash up and running today, um, you will find uh, links to some past webinars that speak specifically to the different aspects of getting started on eBay. So listing, shipping and returns, how to register your account, how to you know, set the right foundation for growth. Um, there's lots of good stuff there. So definitely check that out, ebay.com slash up and running. Trying to keep an eye on time to make sure that I don't intrude on people's next hour. Um, so Lexus, what are some categories? Quick. Yeah, what are the categories that, that that'll be the last question we'll go through is what are some of the categories that are forbidden, tobacco, alcohol, et cetera? Uh, yes. Um, so there are some items that are forbidden. Um, there are uh, something like hateful merchandise, so anything that um, has messaging or in some way kind of symbolizes some message of um, hate uh, that will be taken down. Um, I should be kind of <laughs> well versed in all of these rules. I don't know, Teresa, if you can time, chime in or some of the, uh, the someone I'm from kind of GR team. Because when people ask me this, the only thing that I can ever think of is body parts. <laughs> Yes, live animals, body parts. Um, yeah, I think tobacco, alcohol, although we do allow wine. There is some wine sold on eBay. Um, it's a little bit tricky because sometimes there are like categories and then subcategories and sub subcategories and it's, it's a little bit tricky. Um, I can share a website with you that kind of lists all of the details of kind of exactly what's, what's allowed and what's not. Um, and sometimes things change. Um, we just made a new policy um, around items that are, um, that have kind of a, a racist kind of historic kind of, uh, how, do, how do I say, <laughs> kind of symbolism involved. And so that's just a new policy that we enacted um, just within the last few weeks. So it, it is changing. But if you write to me at um, ebay.com slash, sorry, eBay, up and running at ebay.com, um, I can send you the link. Uh, I don't have it on hand, but um, I can share that link with you and you can see all the details there. Excellent. Old ivory pieces. Yes, ivory not allowed. Anything to do with kind of endangered species. Um, we work closely with various wildlife organizations to make sure that that, um, you know, we find those items and we take them down. And that's another great thing because we're kind of this very, um, you know, kind of trust based marketplace. If someone finds something online um, so that's clearly fraudulent or that's dangerous or that violates some policy, the sellers and the buyers will kind of help us police the, the marketplace, which is really, really helpful because there's, as I said, billions and billions of listings. So sometimes some, you know, people can get clever and sneak things through, um, but we try to kind of catch those and bring them down as soon as possible. Awesome. Well, Alexis and Teresa, thank you very much uh, for being on here today. We appreciate the feedback and uh, sharing how eBay can help small businesses uh, broaden their reach and, and strengthen and grow their sales. Um, the, one, the, the question on the, the previous webinars, that may have also been for us. Uh, so if you want to review this webinar, we will have it posted later today on our bootcamp website. I posted a link to that at the beginning of the the chat uh, window, so look in there. You can also find all the previous webinars starting from week one that we have recorded and listed in there by week. Um, so take a look at that. Um, again, we're, we're thankful to have eBay with us today and appreciate their time. Uh, just a reminder, we got some great sessions next week uh, leading up to the 
Independence Day holiday. So please join us for those um, starting on Monday again at 9 a.m. And I just want to thank everybody for joining us today and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you.